So this is a new uh, GU10 LED spotlight, uh, a new type using a COB LED and COB stands for chip on board and they look a bit like fried eggs. Here are the discs, the COB LEDs that I bought separately. And this one has uh, a 5 watt LED uh, inside it and it also has this silver reflective uh, parabola or uh, something similar to that I suppose. Um, so let's put it in the uh, GU10 holder and see what it looks like. Okay well it's bright, it's uh, everything you'd expect from a 5 watt. It's very difficult to um, uh, get that across on camera but anyway impressively bright. Not a bad uh, GU10 LED bulb. But let's have a look at the cob LED that's uh, inside this thing by putting it on my trusty DC power supply. So I'm trying to put the uh, minimum amount of current through this thing um, just to see the LEDs in the cob disc. That's this thing here. So if I switch on and switch off and switch on and switch off. You can probably see that there are 12 LEDs in there and the voltage when it's on is 13 volts so I suspect that uh, there are four LEDs in series in three groups uh, would give rise to that voltage. So now let's change this so that it um, increments in 10 milliamp increments and start winding that up so that's one watt, two watts, let's take that out of shot so you can see the watt meter. Three watts, four watts, and at five I've set the overpower so it cuts out. Um, so pretty bright, uh, 12 LEDs, and um, it runs at about 13 volts. Now this is the cool white uh, three watt version and you can see quite clearly the phosphor is fairly clear on this one you can see it's got uh, six LEDs so it's probably two groups of three in series and uh, at some stage what I want to do with this is uh, get it up to three watts and run it for quite a while without a heat sink and try and melt this phosphor stuff or burn it or do something with it and see if I can get it to burn away and actually see the colour of the uh, LEDs underneath but that's for a future video. Now one of the things that the uh, suppliers of COB LEDs are saying is that they have better thermal characteristics and you can understand that because here on one of these star type LEDs the individual LEDs are uh, thermally bonded to this disc using a paste between the LED and the disc but then there's more paste needed on the back of the disc down onto the heat sink. Well of course with the cob LED you've got a different situation. The LEDs are bonded onto the disc already um, and then all you need to do is put thermal paste and these discs have a fairly large surface area so you can easily get good um, thermal bonding by putting grease over the whole of this area down onto the heat sink. So yes I agree if properly uh, greased these should have better thermal dissipation characteristics than the uh, the star LEDs. So these are Cobb LEDs, chip on board um, and this is the 9 watt and there are, oh what is it, I can't count them, 20 or so LEDs there it's probably going to require a higher voltage to uh, get this thing working and then another type is this one which uh, you can see is 3 by 3 and this is a 10 watt and it's the type uh, commonly used in LED floodlights um, the uh, security floodlights that are now coming out with LEDs so a variety of cob type LEDs uh, certainly looks like a promising technology and indeed uh, the GU10 version which I uh, got hold of is excellent so I'm going to keep my eyes on cob technology